Thank you very much. And nice to be here. As I roved out of a bright May morning, calm and clear was the weather. A chance to roam some miles from home among the beautiful blooming heather and its heather on the moor. Over the heather, over the moor and along the heather. A chance to roam some miles from home among the beautiful blooming heather and its heather on the moor. As I roved along with me hunting song and me heart as light as any feather I met a pretty maid upon the way She was tripping the dew down from the heather and this heather on the moor Over the heather, over the moor and among the heather I met a pretty maid upon the way She was tripping the dew down from the heather and this heather on the moor Where are you going to the pretty fair maid by hill or dale? Come tell me whether Right modestly she answered me to the feeling of my lambs together and this heather on the moor. Over the heather, over the moor and among the heather. Right modestly she answered me to the feeling of my lambs together and this heather on the moor. Well, we both shook hands and down we sat For it being the finest day in summer And we sat till the red setting beams of the sun Came a-sparkling down among the heather And it's heather on the moor Over the heather, over the moor And among the heather We sat till the red setting beams of the sun Came a-sparkling down among the heather And it's heather on the moor Says I must away for me sheep and lambs have strayed from other. But I am a to depart from me you as those fond lambs are depart their mother and this heather on the moor. Over the heather, over the moor and among the heather. And I am a to depart from you as those fond lambs are depart their mother and this heather on the moor. Up she rose and away she goes And her place and name I know not either But if I was king and make her queen The last I met among the heather And the heather on the moor Over the heather, over the moor And among the heather If I was king I'd make her queen The last I met among the heather And the heather on the moor So we're going to play a couple of set of three reels starting off with a couple of Sligo tunes that I learned from a fella called John Stenson many years ago.
When I was on the road in Eastern Europe in the, uh, in the late 60s, uh, I came to the town of Bucharest and I had nowhere to stay. And uh, the people who had brought me there, and I was hitchhiking, the people who brought me there uh, said, well, why didn't you stay in this forest? Uh, you have a little tiny tent, haven't you? And I said, yes. Uh, and so I pitched the tent in the middle of the forest and it was called Banassa Forest. And uh, it was, it, it was a, a lovely place, that would, as the song will tell you, but uh, there was a policeman who, who came by every now and again, and I always thought that he was going to say, you can't stay here, get out, get out, get out. But he didn't, he said, uh, this is a bit dangerous. He said, there are, there are a lot of outlaws around here. And I thought, outlaws and forests, wow, how exciting. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I stayed, we, I stayed there with my, with my uh, girlfriend for about uh, three, four weeks. And, uh, and when, when I'd finished... It was an early version of uh, Airbnb. <laughs> Open Airbnb. <laughs> Well, eventually I left there and I wrote this song to remind myself of what it was like. And it's called Banassa's Green Glade, and it's followed by a Bulgarian tune. Like, the Romanians hated that, and the Bulgarians hated that I'd written a, uh, a song about R Romania before playing one of their tunes. So, uh, but they're not here tonight, hopefully. And, uh, Banassa's Green Glade and Mominsko Horo. scampered away We'd rise from our warm beds as the sun got higher and cook up our breakfast on a sweet scented fire Still early morning, a cool, gentle breeze, and the echo of woodpeckers rings through the trees. We'd sit in our clay till the heat of the day, walk down to the zoo to sing and to play. Well, the money rolled in and the people looked on when the hat was quite full we'd up and be gone down the beats a tavern we spent money free and drank to our friends wherever they may
Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to start. This is the album now. Yeah. <laughs> the album. Not and, uh, in that order. Yeah. Well, yeah. But uh, the first song is, uh, that we're going to do is, is a song about a girl who uh, was propositioned by a platoon of soldiers. And uh, uh, she took, went to great lengths to uh, um, dress herself up as a, a soldier and go to the barracks. And uh, they turned her away because they didn't realize she was a girl. They were, they, they were, they were kind of uh, the most stupid platoon of soldiers that ever, <laughs> ever carried a gun. And uh, she got away with it. And uh, she went home and she was in uh, the state that she'd been born in. Can you say that? In Vienna. In Vienna, they say. You can't unsay it, no. Anyway, it's called Martin this time, and it goes like this. It fell out upon one Martinmas time When snow lay on the border There came a troop of soldiers here To take up their winter quarters And they rode north and they rode south and they rode over the border And there they met with a nice little girl And she was a farmer's daughter And they made her swear a solemn oath With the salt tear in her eye oh, That she would come to the quarter gates When no one did her spy oh. And she's gone to the barber's shop, to the barber's shop when soon, oh, made them cut her long yellow hair as short as any dragoon, oh, oh with me right for lady, Lila Daddy, oh, me right for lady, Lila And she's gone to the tailor's shop and dresses in soldier's clothes, oh, Two long pistols down by her side, a nice little boy was she, oh. I would be right for late, little Lila Daddy, oh. Be right for late, little Lila Daddy. And she's gone to the quarter gates, and loudly she does call, oh. There comes a troop of soldiers here, and we must have lodgings all, oh. I would be right for late, little Lila Daddy, oh. Be right for late, little Lila And the quartermaster, he comes down, he gives her half a crown, no. Oh. Go find your lodgings in the town, for tonight there is no room, oh. Oh, with me right for lady, the legal and the daddy, oh, with me right for lady, the legal and the Louder she does call, oh, oh, room, room, you gentleman. Well, we must have lodgings all, oh, oh, we'll be right for late, little Ila Daddy, oh, we'll be right for late, little Ila And the quartermaster, he comes down, he gives her eighteen pence, oh, go find your lodgings in the town, for tonight there comes. So when shall go with me right for late the little Ila Daddy O me right for late the little Ila And she took a whistle from her side She blew it loud and shrill low You're all very free with your eighteen pence But you're not for a girl at all O oh, with me right for late the little Ila Daddy O me right for late the little Ila and she took the garters from her knees, the ribbons from her hair, oh. She's tied them around the quarter gates as a token she's been there, oh. 
I went from there right by Lake Lidalila, Daddy O. Me right by Lake Lidalila. And when they found that it was her, they tried to have her taken. But she slapped her spurs to her horse's side. She's galloped home, a maiden. I learned that song from Anne Briggs, uh, who should get a mention here because she was a great singer. No, I was, I was living in, I was living in the States, probably illegally, uh, in the early seventies. And uh, and <laughs> minding my own business, and I just put a wee, a wee, I just left. Well, this group, the Johnstons, I was with for a couple of years, had all imploded and I was sort of stuck there and trying to figure out what to do with myself and I put together a, a set of songs and one of, this song was one of them and uh, I um, got a letter uh, in the post from Liam O'Flynn this would have been now 1974 probably asking me to come back and join Planksty uh, because Christy Moore was leaving and I said will I what? On the next plane. <laughs> well, actually, I wasn't on the next plane. I couldn't afford the fare at the time. <laughs> I had to work for two weeks to afford the fare. And then I got back. Then were the days. And we arrived. I arrived back, and th the boys said to me, have you any songs, Paul? And I said, yeah, I have this song here. I just learned, you know. And they said, what's it called? And I said, it's called Arthur McBride. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> what? They had just put the same song on, on, on their current album, like, you know, <laughs> in a much superior version. And, uh, but I, 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 I whinged a bit, and they let me do it. Well, you played it. Do you remember that pub in Boncrana? Yeah, the first time we, we met you af after you'd arrived back in Ireland. Yeah. And in the pub, somebody said, uh, Paul, give us a song. Oh, give us that song. Give yeah. us your song. Yeah. <laughs> and we were all just knocked out, because it was... Uh, <laughs> no pressure. <I> mean. <laughs> he, need, he needs a bit of pressure. Cousin one Arthur McMurray, we went the walking down by the seaside. Now mark what followed and what did be tied for it being on Christmas morning. Out for recreation, we went on a tramp, and we met Sergeant Napper and Corporal Vamp, and a little wee drummer intending to camp. For the day being pleasant and charming 
Good morning, good morning, the sergeant to cry. I'm the same to you, gentlemen, a we did reply. Intending no harm but meant to pass by For it being on Christmas morning But says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist It's ten guineas in gold that will slip in your fist And a crown in the bargain for to kick up the dust And drink the king's health in the morning for a soldier really leads a very fine life And he always is blessed with a charming young wife And he pays all his debts without sorrow or strife And always lives pleasant and charming And a soldier he always is decent and clean In the finest of clothing he's constantly seen While other poor fellows Go dirty and mean And sup on thin gruel in the morning Change them one night For you know if you do You'll be flogged in the morning And on the wound that we are single and free We take great delight in our own country And we have no desire for strange places to see Although that your offers are charming and we have no desire to take your advance All oh, hazards and dangers we far to run the chance For you would have no scruples for to send us to France Well, we would get shot with a warning Oh, now says the sergeant that have no such chat And I neither will take it from spalpeen or brat For if you insult me With one other word I'll cut off your heads In the morning And then Arthur and I We soon drew our hearts And we scarce gave them time For to draw their own blade When a trusty shillelagh Came over their heads And bade them take That is fair a warning the rapiers that hung by the side We flung them as far as we could in the tide Now take them out, devils, cried Arthur McBride And temper the rage in the morning And the little weeds are on her We flattened this pow And we made a footfall of us A rowdy dow dow Threw it in the tide for to rock and to roll And that it did tedious returning And we haven't no money Paid them off in cracks And we paid no respect To their two bloody backs For we lathered them there Like a pair of wet sacks I left them for dead in the morning so to conclude and to finish disputes We obligingly asked if they wanted recruits For we were the lads that would give them hard clothes And bid them look sharp in the morning
to you. Brilliant, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. This is a, um, a, another song, like Paul was talking earlier about uh, Sam Henry's collection. And Sam Henry was, was a, an excise man, uh, which apparently in the north was called... A water rat. A water rat. Yes. <laughs> why was he called a water... Why was an excise man called a water rat? Well, because I think it was something to do with lock foil or something, because oh. of the... Uh, the, the the Republic and the North and, and people were smuggling across the lake. Ah, right. Or no, yeah, lock, yeah. yeah that would have so been he it. was kind of uh, checking out the, the lake for people. Submarines full of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, apart from that, he met an awful lot of, of people in, in the countryside in uh, Northern Ireland, and um, he realized there were a lot of songs uh, still extant there. And uh, he also had, a, he had a, a, a column in the Northern Constitution, which was a, a newspaper in Coleraine, and uh, he invited the readers to send in songs, and they sent them in by the ton. And, uh, Many years later, I think his granddaughter it was who, who put them all together uh, in a volume uh, called Songs of the People. And uh, they, they, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful collection. And um, this is a song from it called Bonniewood Hall. Sorry. Um, uh, Get comfortable now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bit of comfort, yes. Oh, oh. Right, you ready? Down by yon green bushes near Calder's clear stream, where me and my Annie so often have been. When the hours that flew past us, right happy were we. It was little she thought that a soldier I'd be. But it's farewell to Annie, and I must away. For the king, he needs soldiers, I must obey. But a providence prove kind love until I return. I will wed with my Annie near Calder's clear burn. On the 14th of August, our regiment was lost. And a ball from the enemy, our lines came across. Oh, it struck me in the temple, and the blood trickled down. I reeled and I staggered, and I fell to the ground. Says 
sour captain come here with good speed for I fear by this bullet Yonkin's more lies dead two men with a stretcher did quickly prepare and they carried me away to a hospital there Cold water and brandy they poured out so free they turned me all over, my wounds for to see. But if I had my army to bind up my wounds, one kiss from her sweet lips would soon deaden the stew. When I am weary and think on Lang Syne, when I was a miner and wrought in the mine, oh, the tears they do trickle and down they do fall like the roses. That bloom us round Pawnee Wood Hall. Okay, we will carry on this time with a couple of songs of about soldiers soldiers and women <laughs> I don't know girls was it the uniform or what I don't know uh, anyway it's a song called the jolly soldier and we'll follow it with uh, a jig called the Blarney pilgrim for no apparent reason that we could figure <laughs> at the time other than that it sounded good two three Of a jolly soldier that lately came from war. He loved a fair young damsel, a damsel so fair, and her fortune was so great that it could scarcely be told. And she loved a jolly soldier boy because he was so bold. Oh, then cried the lady, I think would be your wife. But me father, he is cruel, and he surely take me life. He drew out his sword and pistol, and he hung them by his side. And he swore that he would marry her, and let what would be time. So they went and they got married, as they were coming home. They met all her old father and seven armed men. Let us flee, cried the lady, for we surely will be slain. Fear nothing, my dear charmer, the soldier cried again. Then up came the old man, and none to her they say. It's for your disobedience to me this very day. But since you have been so mean, just to be a soldier's wife down in lonesome valley I will surely take your life oh 
dog, cry the soldier, I do not like your prattle. For although I am a bridegroom, I am well prepared for battle. He drew out his sword and pistol, and he caused them for to roar. And the lady held the bridle while the soldier battled so. came to, he ran him through a man, and the second one he came to, he served him just the same, let us flee, he cried the others, for we surely will be slain, fight on my dear charmer, the lady cried again, stay your hand, cried the old man, you make me blood run cold, and you shall have me daughter and five hundred pounds in gold, fight on, cried the lady, for his offer is too small Stay your hand, cried the old man And you shall have it all So he's taken them both home And he's made them both his heirs And it wasn't out of love But it was from dread and fear And there never was a soldier Ever carried a gun Who would ever flinch or budge And then still the battle he had won don't despise a soldier just because he's poor. He's as happy on the battlefield as at the barrack door. For they are the lads to be jovial, brisk, and free. And they'll fight for the pretty girls for rights and liberty. Thank you. Whoops. This one is called Mary and the Soldier, and uh, uh, oh. open. here we go. Come all you lads of high renown That would hear of a fair young maiden And she roved out of a summer's day For to view the soldiers parading 
They march so bold and they look so gay. The colors flying on the band's dead play, which caused young Barry far to say, How wet you make gallant soldiers. She viewed the soldiers on parade, and as they stood at their leisure, and Mary to herself did say, At last they found me treasure. But oh, what cruel my parents must be to banish me darling so far from me. Well, I'll leave the ball and I'll go with thee, me bald and bandit soldier. Oh, Mary dear, your parents love. I pray don't be unruly For when you're in a foreign land Believe me, you'll rue it surely Perhaps in battle I might fall From a shot from an angry cannonball And you so far from your daddy's hall Be advised by a gallant soldier I have fifty guineas in bright gold Likewise a heart that's bolder And I'll live them all and I'll go with you Me bald and daunted soldier So don't sing over but let me go And I will face the daring foe And we'll march together to and fro And I'll wedge in the gallant soldier And when he saw her loyalty And Mary so true-hearted He said, me darling, married we'll be And nothing but death will part us And when we're in a foreign land I'll guard you, darling, with my right hand And hopes that God might stand a friend To Mary and her gallant soldier Thank you. Good stuff.